speaker control, TV, channel changer on off. Ooh, magna color. Yes, I know, it's dirty. It's in a house being currently renovated. I have a cover over it, but it didn't seem to help it. But, uh, this is my Magnavox combo from about 1967, 68, something like that. It used to be uh, my grandmother's. She's since left it to me many, many years ago. Get that thing out of the way. As you can see, the record player is still intact. And yes, I know it's dusty. Along with the, uh, the tuner. Like I said, there's the uh, TV controls. Also, uh, I have the remote somewhere for it. It's in this room someplace. I'll have to find it take a quick picture of that. And here's uh, one, one side of it. Dirty. Needs to be clean. Needs a real good cleaning. So yeah. Not much light in here, so I'm just doing the best I can with this here. There's the uh, remote. It'll focus in there. Magnavox. Phantom. It's so got the, uh, you can turn up the volume, turn on off with the left switch, and you change the station with the uh, right switch. I actually have two of these. I don't, the other one is somewhere, but there was two remotes that came with this. And then of course the, uh, the sensor for that can't see it. Oh, we really can't see it. But it's down in this little part right here. Let's see if I can shine a light down here. There we go. The sensor is located right about here someplace. Right about in there somewhere for the uh, to pick up the uh, sound. And of course here is the inside. To get the big woofers and the, the horn tweeters and then uh, here's the uh, inside of the TV part all the tubes have since been harvested out of this thing um, so like I said it's the TV part hasn't worked since probably the early 70s I would say and according to my grandma, the TV never did work right in this thing. She constantly had this thing repaired. Until finally they just gave up and bought a new TV back then. And then, uh, the tuner. Got all the stuff in there. And lots of wires. Lots and lots and lots of wires. And then, of course, the other side, their speaker. And I don't know if you could see it or not, but uh, let's see. Probably not, but if I can get this light in here. You can kind of see in the back the little round thing with two screws holding it. That's the uh, 
sensor for the uh, the remote control. And then it's got the uh, and then that controlled that board down there with all the uh, that's what changed the channel and turned it up and down and stuff like that. So anyway, oh, too bright. Anyway, like I said, I haven't had this thing on in hmm, probably about seven or eight years. And uh, it worked fine when I last time I played it. Although the, the controls and stuff need to be cleaned and everything. But the stereo still works. The uh, I'm assuming the record player still works. I haven't used that in many years. And then, of course, I have a... Have RCA cables. I hooked up to it a long time ago to to run a uh, to run a CD player off of. And of course, I got them. It's hard to see, but I got them. It's it runs back to over there into the into the auxiliary section. So, but yes, this is this is my Magnavox. Like I said, it's from about 1967. Uh, I don't know what the model is. I can't find a model number on this thing. Um, as I think it's since war long went away. Okay, now I got the back put back on. Had to make sure I left my uh, RCA wire out. But here's the back. It's even got the little thing to hold the remote. And it's got the little thing sharpness horizontal contrast and vertical and then it's got all the uh the other stuff down here service all kinds of stuff so yeah oh and then of course it's got the uh things for the uh, antenna in the back so yeah that's my Magnavox thanks uh, for viewing it